basically, I have been in Edinburgh all week, as me and Phil have been filming behind the scenes videos for Radio 1, and the other day we were invited to go on the Scott Mills show to play a game called Innuendo Bingo. This is basically a very rude game where you get quite wet, and I'll let him explain it. Okay, so for the internet who don't have a clue, can you quickly explain the concept of Innuendo Bingo? Okay, so um, our listeners send in clips of stuff that sounds a bit rude from the TV or radio, then two people, i.e. you and Phil, yep. will sit um, across from each other, you will fill your mouths with water, and then uh, when you hear the clip, obviously it's generally quite rude, sounds like it could be rude, yeah. then the water flies out of your mouth, generally all over the other person. Okay, but we try to not sort of yeah. the idea is to keep, the water. Yes, the, yeah, the idea okay. is to keep the water in, but that rarely happens. Okay, so there is going to be slow motion clips of me and Phil getting each other wet. Totally. Cool. Okay, yeah. well the internet should enjoy this. A lot of you love their videos on the internet. Now you can see them on the internet like you've never seen them before. It's amazing Phil and Dan is not on fire. Hi! Hello! So this is your first time playing Innuendo Bingo. It is indeed. You'll be pleased to know we have an added feature just for this week only. We have added slow motion action replays. Oh good, Ooh. great. I like match of the day. So when there's a really good spurt of water, you'll see it again at half speed. Amazing. Oh good. Ready Let's... to be immortalised as a gif yeah. forever. <laughs> yeah. Let's play the game. Get ready to witness the wetness. It's Innuendo Bingo, live from the Edinburgh Festival Fringe with Dan and Phil happening now. Okay, boys, uh, you know how this works. Yeah. Yep. You'd need to put a lot of water in your gobs today. Okay, here okay? we go. Okay. Hello, if you're watching on the website or on right. the BBC Red Button on actual telly. They're properly going for it. Yeah. Wow, yeah, they really are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So it's classic innuendo bingo clips this week. Mm. Some you may have heard before, some may be new to you. Are you ready? Mm. Don't hold back, there is a bin there. <laughs> but just use each other as targets. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Phil's got already. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Phil, back is, up, Phil. If someone is, tells me not to laugh, I know. It's the first thing I want to do. It's fun, this is going to take a while, but I quite like it. <laughs> ready? And now over to TV's Phil Spencer. Today I'm nursing a semi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dan got it on himself! <laughs> oh, Dan. You no. can tell you're a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't know where this next clip's from, but it is one of my faves. Ready? <laughs> More water, please. <laughs> and... Phil looks like he's going to be sick. Are you alright, Phil? Do, we, do you need assistance? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now Roger's pressuring Tina to let him fix it today by pumping some of his special fluid into her pipes. <laughs> Phil's lost it. Dan, I think, is holding well. How did you hold up? See if he holds it this one. I will be oh, wow. spending tomorrow building a brand new barbecue, having friends over for late afternoon nosh in the garden. Richard Mayley there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan's is a, is a, is a, is a <laughs> constant little <laughs> dribble out of his mouth. <laughs> Either spin it or it not, so yeah. Hard to keep that was hard. That was good. Well, well played. More water, please. Help. Here we go. My Hi. chest is in pain. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching on the website or red button. Mm -hmm. And now. Over to the tennis. Brazai's very talented French player has been very high in the rankings. Actually, has a winning record over Venus, so she likes balls that come hard to her. But unfortunately, some off-court issues, some personal problems have really plagued her since January. <laughs> All over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent sprayage there, Thanks, Dan. Man. Really good. Uh -oh. That's a classic. That one. That's oh, worst no. I imagine. That is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. And, um, Can you go there? <laughs> it's all fine. I'm, I'm just so playing these right at random, now. so it's, it's a surprise for me as well, which I like. Okay. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> let's go over to Philip Schofield <laughs> on the cube. There you go. You can pick up the ball, see how it feels. Oh. Yeah. How does that feel? Got quite a good weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> feels off. <laughs> Do you want some more? Mm -mm. Then later, the television presenter who put the willies up more people than I've had hot dinners in that building. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> How wet are you now on a scale of one to ten? Oh, yeah, it's quite wet. I feel like I've been in the sea or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
feel like you've been for a You know when you're in a log flume and yeah. then like you go around a corner and yeah. a little tidal wave just comes over? That's, That's just, just happened. happened. Yeah. But it's all dribble. Which is attractive. Don't worry, that wet jean feeling stays with you all day. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> <laughs> and girls, they'll be outside in a minute. Okay. Making each other wet. Let's go over to Rory McGrath. Ready? Mm-hmm. So taste and tell me what you can taste. That's not actually too bad at all. I want to have a little sip then and tell me what you think of it first. Charles, what do you think? Not bad. I think I'm definitely a cockaholic. <laughs> He's <laughs> missed oh the bin no. totally. The bin is just, I, I just no actual <laughs> point of the bin at all. I wasn't even. This floor is a health and safety nightmare. No. What context could you possibly? I don't know. He's talking about beer. Oh, beer. Yes, yeah. there's a beer called that. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> And You're not into your real ales. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, not. obviously, that's not where my mind was going. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Okay. I'm like, we'll do a couple more. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well. You're wet now. It's like there's no point. <laughs> Here we go. Dan and Phil on Innuendo Bingo. When it comes to navigation, can I point out that we're entering the hoe that day? All competitors, please, entering the hoe that day from the big entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Small dribble. <laughs> Okay. You survived. He's had spit strings on his chin oh. for the last ten minutes. Can't wait to see that in slow motion. You want another one, Dan? That is hot, ladies. Try again. Okay. Over three thousand feet in the air, it's the first time fifty-nine-year-old Fiona MacArthur has ever been winched. <laughs> That's not even one. <laughs> That's so why lovely. I like it so much because it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what <does that> mean? <laughs> okay, one more. I just lost <laughs> One more. One more. Okay. Okay. More. Any water, dignity please. you had is now gone. I know. <laughs> okay. Now we're going back. <laughs> this is quite interesting for me and Chris because we never normally get to watch it. <laughs> we're going back over to TV's The Cube. The gap between the balls and the hole seems a lot, lot further <laughs> than what it did out there. <laughs> It's right. It's right so hard. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, right, I think that's more than enough. In your end of bingo. <laughs> Thank you if you watch Dan and Phil on the Radio 1 website or the BBC Red Button. Would you play again, though? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I'll okay. spend a couple months drying. Sure. <laughs> Thank you if you uh, watched and listened. Feast <laughs> your Phil, go over there and stand in front of the castle. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now point at your crotch. Really? Do it. And now dance. Sexily. Slower and sexier. Oh yeah. Just click that box to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. There is a new keep dancing. New video every Thursday. Just click on the box. <laughs> but yeah, I've only actually been to Scotland one other time, which is when I went to go see Brave with Disney, which was really awesome. But they made us do loads of like traditional Scottish things. One of them was mini caber tossing, which I was surprisingly good at. Nice toss. Ooh, I just oh, just oh, oh, 90 oh, points. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then archery, which I was pretty crap at. And then they made us do dancing, which was just as horrific as it sounds. But yes, watching that film and being in Edinburgh week has made me totally fall in love with Scotland and Scottish people and their voices. But if you want more Dan and Phil Scotland action, then we have made four behind the scenes videos for Radio 1's YouTube channel, which are actually kind of amazing, so you should definitely check those out. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed my um, facial ejaculation, and I will see you next Thursday. Oh no, that spells something really rude, doesn't it? Oh god.